Z19 TID EGR valve removal and cleaning. EGR valve is located around the back here. So this right here is the EGR valve. You got two bolts here that do the, the EGR pipe in, which is located down here. So you want to be careful that the thread doesn't get ripped. And then there's two more bolts there, which hold this body onto the manifold, as do these two bolts over here. Those two, and those two, and these two. The six bolts. And don't forget the plug down here. So you got a bit of a seal there. You can see the soot falling off it. A bit of a seal comes in there, so we need to put that back. I don't know if you can see this tremendously well. It was in there that I need to clean. It's all full of soot. Also, when you look into the manifold, this part that it's just come off of, this is quite badly sitted up to. Like, this is really bad. It's really bad in there. So I'm going to have to find a way to clean that out too. So these fellas down here, these are called an E10. These parts are to remove the throttle housing. There's two bolts that hold on this aluminium part here. That's one bolt, that's the other down here. And then I'm going to remove these little Allen bolts in here. These are like a 5mm Allen bolt. We'll find out for sure in a minute. And that'll take that off. And that'll get me that bit nearer to where the soot is. Okay, so look at the parts in order. I've removed this. And I've removed the throttle body housing here. Just looking face on, you'll see that there's one, two, three bolts here. These are the 5mm Allens. That's a very long one, and these are the two fairly short ones. These, these two I took out first, these are the E10s. It looks like I didn't have to take them out to take this off. But as you can see, it's pretty gunked up with soot. Can't see all the way through that because of the soot. Same in here. It's pretty bad. So now, hopefully, I've given myself more access. Like I don't know if you can see this tremendously well with this camera, but lucky in there, I'll just get a piece off. It's actually properly caked on, caked on bits of soot. So my job is to clean that up as best I can. Do a bit of a clean up there. Make sure that it, turn, it turns out, and I didn't know, know this, but there's a second gallery in there. That's actually where the exhaust gas comes out. You see that a bit more, I suppose, when you look over here. So there's like two channels. There's one lower down, there's one upper one. So that the gas, I suppose, is sent out more evenly. So after a pretty good clean up, you can now see into the zero valve. You can see the little valve there that actually opens and allows the exhaust gas through. So you should be able to do that with your finger pretty easily. Now to make a pretty good seat, if you look in there to that first one, 
I actually put some valve grinding paste on, on that and spun it with the drill. One thing I will say though, if you are going to do that, you have to be 100% certain that all the valve paste has been cleaned off. Because if any of that got into your en engine, there would be curtains. The tools you need to remove the EGR valve are the 10mm hex drive and the 13mm. These are quarter drive. And to remove the throttle housing, you need a 5mm Allen key. The extension is handy, 3A drive. And to remove the solenoid from the valve, use this long reach. This is a T25. And these are all the tools you need. Plus some cleaner. I just use some parts cleaner, uh, some wire wool, nicked it, and a wire brush which didn't actually come in there hand handy, and some parts cleaner. Now the one thing I didn't say in the video is when you're flushing out all the innards of the manifold in here with the parts cleaner, you have to wait several hours before you can start the engine to make sure that all that cleaner isn't going to damage the engine when you start it. I waited two and a half hours and she started up fine. Just went for a drive and everything seems fine. No more codes. All right.